Okay, our final selection today. I left this till last because as you can see, there is a lot going on right in front of me here. We have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different figure types. We've got one base and disc type, then we've got this base and disc type, then we've got these guys, washers, there's a lot happening. Plus, this little bad boy tool that I've been showing about during this. I've got no idea how to use this, by the way. I've just been using it as it makes quite a nice little point there. I guess you use it to like do stuff like that and you can push your bases and your discs in with this and it's kind of like a nice, gives you a good little pressure point to use. But yeah, so this all comes with it. It comes all heat sealed as well. Really, really cool professional packaging. What I'm gonna do first is deal with the bases before I forget, because I've had to just look what they are. So, we have got the CLR Dynamic bases, which are these guys here, I believe. Um, these guys have got a bit more of a flat edge. These guys are nice and rounded, okay? So we've got the CLR Dynamic bases. We've got CLR Dynamic discs, which are these guys here. And then we've got the CLR Dynamic Plus um, discs here, which come in two parts, which allow you to have triple colored bases and discs, which I think is super cool. It's not something I've ever really played with. Like I say, the, I've seen these things for the first time in my life um, when they arrived. I know Little Plastic Men's been around a long time and I have ordered things from them before, but I've never ordered like the whole range because I wanted to get um, a look at and an idea about all the different options that are available. It's been a good few years since I last ordered from them. Um, one of my favorite things they do are these guys up here, but we're gonna come on to them in a minute. So these guys, these bases and this here, which by the way, I haven't even got a quarter of the color options available. There are so many color options, okay? Ridiculous amounts. The link, again, as always, will be down in the description. I advise you massively to have a look and just, you could just spend, I would say, like at least an hour, two hours searching through all the different base and discs colors. It's ridiculous. We've got some sparkle here. This fluoro yellowy green, I've got two of these because I absolutely love them. Um, you've got grey, like a transparent red here. We've got a sparkle blue and red. I think this is called mustard. We've got like orange. We've got two oranges in different shades. Green. Honestly, there are so many options. There's just too many for me to go over, but I massively advise you click over there in the description. Have a little look around. In terms of weight options, these weights all appear to be the same size and I would imagine our are universal to what you need to use them in. Um, they fit quite nicely into the bottom of these iBase Storms, I believe. These are iBase Storms, well, I don't know if I just said that, but yeah, so these guys here are iBase Storms, bases and discs. Um, in terms of weights, they go in there quite nicely and there is like a little ridge line to try and keep them in place, but they will move if you don't get them dead central. So definitely work on getting them dead central. In the CLR pluses, they pretty much slot down really, really nicely into their little hole there. A little bit of movement, so you can maybe be a little bit of a struggle to go dead center, but they've got a nice little recess in here. In terms of double stacking the weights, as we did with the others, you can't do that. So you get one weight. I imagine you can if you really want to. I say there's guys out there that are really into their professional bases and their discs that will have different washer weights um, to change what they're doing. But these just came as standard. But again, they're customizable because they don't come already stuck in. You can change whatever you want here. It's entirely up to you. Um, so let's just kick this out of the way real quick. So let's go over the two bases. Let's not use the super fluoros. Let's move them out of the way for a second. So let's go with the two oranges. So I've got two orange bases and discs here and I will try and show you guys off, um, off of this little bit as well. The sort of difference. This one has more of a chamfer, more of a round uh, approach. I would imagine that's gonna make it a little bit easier to try and spin these guys. Not easy at all because they are very flat profile but these guys are a little bit more just of a really, really flat and then come up to a round with a nice 
flat, solid edge. I reckon these guys strike the ball super, super clean. Um, these other, these CLR bases, I reckon definitely get a little bit more under. There's a little bit of a chamfer in at the top as well. I reckon they give you guys some serious, serious power. Um, in terms of putting the base and the dish together, let's have a little look. I, it looks pretty simple. There's a two-part system or there's this three-part system, obviously with the washers as well. I don't want to push them too tight together just yet because I want to make sure I get these guys in. But looking at it, it looks like a fairly simple little push. These um, discs here have, let's use, not use the clear one, like you see this gray one, um, they've got a recess for the figure to slot into. So let's just grab one of these guys. So they sit, as you can see, nice and flush into their disc, which I really, really like. That's a cool little, um, cool little feature. Nicely thought about that. I think that's really, really clever. They've taken that little recess out of there that they sit in there nice and flush to be fair they all have a little recess but i think this one's just a little bit deeper sits down in there really really well um in terms of the three-parter this little thing here let me just flip that the other way around so you end up with something like this this sort of slots over the top um and then into here but what i do want to do is just get a weight in here what a strange thing. right then let's have a look should we do them in Pink and green go together. No, let's do that actually. Let's put those two together. Do some sort of like maybe a Palermo vertebramen. So we'll use this white. What I'm gonna do is because I'm not really sure how it's gonna sit, I'm gonna get just get some super glue and spread it all around that that first recess in there. I'm then gonna grab one of these, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna drop them in. Got my little tool here. I'm gonna say that's what this is for. So I'm just gonna locate that in there like so happy with that i'm then gonna go and get my gray oh hello my gray disc bit here oh hello he sinks down really low so he's sunk down in there quite low and he's not actually a tight fit does my sky blue piece create my tight fit there so there we go that is one of those guys how they go together so as you can see it gives you a really nice three-tone color which i think is actually really really cool and as i said there are so many color options so these guys here that's a clr base or a clr plus bait or dynamic base with the dynamic plus disc so they come in two different parts allowing you to have that triple color in there which i think is a really cool idea but there's no one that's done it for heavyweight i don't know how you would do it for a heavyweight system but i absolutely i think that's cool as anything that's so cool Gives you a lot of customizable options. A real nice, flat, solid looking disc here. Um, but just for a second, let's just move our bases and our discs out of the way because we have got a lot of figures to talk about right now. We're going to start with, let's move these washers out of the way as well. Let's talk about these guys up here. These guys are, from what I can remember, like the original vintage um figures i can't remember their exact name they're like 2k 10s or 2k4 vintage figures now there are two different types we've got like this bald looking guy here and then they've got this guy with sort of the start of the center part in here so we've got the vintage figures here come in two different types in terms of their builds they look pretty similar except as i said this guy's got a bald head um, which is quite a nice little design feature again it gives you that freedom to add hair onto it if you wanted to or if you need bald figures um, something that's often overlooked is the bald figure but you don't want a whole load of them so the great thing about little plastic men online is you can buy all these guys individually that's what i've done so i could have a team that's made up of loads of different figure types if i really wanted to um, so we've got these guys here these guys are the vintage long shorts Different shape and set up to the Santiago ones. Again, they don't really have a mold line on the sleeve, but it does duck in a little bit tighter around the hands. But you can get away with making these guys short sleeve and not having a big mold line area. Um, boots are really sort of nicely detailed. They have like a little molding line up, which I think is really cool. Um, on the backs, again, one of the great things about a lot of these modern figures 
is how smooth they are. So the back of this shirt's really smooth. We do have our little circle indent here, which lives on the shorts of these guys. Again, that's all part of the molding process. And they're pegged figures. Um, and yeah, so that is the vintage guys. Let's move them down there out of the way. As I said, available in two different types. One of the coolest things I think about these are these little beauties here, the heavyweight hybrid. So it's a heavyweight replica figure on a peg, which is ridiculous as an idea. I love it. If you're really into your heavyweight style figures, but you want to use maybe these cool little three-tone bases, bosh, in you go. You've got a heavyweight figure on a professional flat style base with available in three, like I say, three colors. I think they're really cool. I love these really, really super detailed, really crisp round neckline, really crisp mold lines on these. Um, as we go over to the back, Again, nice and smooth along the back. We do have that classic sort of heavyweight indent as these guys are all based off of the original molds. They've got that little step forward. I think these guys are cool as anything. I love these heavyweight hybrid guys. I think they're really cool. And like I said, it allows you, if this is your favorite figure type, if you love the bases and the discs, the flat bases and discs, bosh, here we go. Best of both worlds. Get those bad boys mixed together. So there is the heavyweight hybrid figure over here. Let's just bring our vintage guys back up. So we've got our vintage classics here and we've got our vintage bald guys now over here. Now then, let's come on to these guys here. These are AL1s. Okay, so we've got some AL1 figures here. Bulk standard AL1. Um, really, really nice design. Actual fingers and hand features, which are really cool. Some really good detailing on the boots, um, which I'll get you guys some, some sort of closer images of these. Really, really smooth. So I think they're going to be great to paint on. I know decalers love the smoothness as well. So if you're into your decals, these guys are going to be great. Um, but yeah, really like the boot mold lines and the arms, as we said, similarly with some of these other figures over here, it's a smooth transition down the arm into the hands, which means you can create that short sleeve without having, as we get with our heavyweight guys, maybe bigger looking forearms. So we've got the AL ones here. Again, we've got another sort of selection here, a bald version of the AL one. Um, pretty much the same mold, so same design except the hair is that of baldness, um, which is pretty cool. Again, it gives you that freedom to, to tweak and customize. As I said, these are all available to buy as individual figures, so you can mix and match these guys up to whatever you want. We've then got the AL1 Lightweight, which again, obviously, given its name, is based on the Subutio Lightweight figure, which is pretty cool, I think. It's got molded hairlines. As far as I can see, they're not available in the bald figures. They've got shorter shorts than these guys do. These AL ones have got the more sort of modern, longer short look on them. Um, again, lovely mold lines in around here. Hands, good facial details, pretty standard hair. As we flip them over, lovely and smooth on the back. Really, really good for painting things like stripes and hoops. And finally, the AL1 walker figures so these are obviously based on the molded subutio heavyweight walker except that you are now able to pop them into whatever base and disc combination you want if you guys remember most traditional subutio heavyweight walkers are on molded bases and discs this gives you the freedom to put them on whatever peg style base and discs you can find and you can have these guys are made to be short sleeve so they've got a short sleeve mold line here. Really, really smooth. Um, really, really smooth mold. So these would be great to paint. And they don't come with a hairline. They've got really, really nice facial details. We get really close to them. As I said, I'll get you guys some lovely, lovely pictures at the end of this. Super, super cool. Absolutely love them. As I said, available from Little Plastic Men online. That is it for the LPM stuff. As I said, what we're going to do.